Hello, my name is Stoman. Today's tech tip is a fairly simple one. This is how to modify Control Center in iOS 13. I'm currently using an iPhone 10 running iOS 13.4, and this is Control Center. For those of you who don't know who Control Center, what Control Center is, it's fairly simple. It's when you swipe down from the top right corner. This is called Control Center, so it gives you access to quick controls when you're on your lock screen. Um, currently, I have set up different controls here, so we're going to see what's going on with that. And you can modify what items you see down, different controls inside Control Center. So to proceed with this, it's fairly simple. What we've got to do is locate and launch settings by tapping on it. Once we're inside our settings, we're going to scroll down to where it says Control Center. Once you see Control Center, you're going to tap Control Center. Now you've got a couple different options. Um, top one is access within apps. So what that means is say you're in an app, say Twitter, and you want to access your control center quickly, you can still swipe down from the top right corner of your iPhone on an iPhone 10 or higher, or swipe up from the bottom if you're running an iPhone 8 or lower with a home button, with a physical home button. So that would be how you would access control center again, but how you customize, it's fairly simple. You're going to tap on customize controls in here. You've got a list of different items that you can either add or remove from control center. <clears throat> I happen to have flashlight, timer, calculator, camera, Apple TV, remote, low power mode, magnifier, and QR reader. Now say if I want to add a quick one, we'll go to dark mode. I want to add dark mode quickly. A lot of people like dark mode in iOS 13. Um, I'm six to one, half dozen the other on it. I like it, but unfortunately certain notes inside Apple Notes don't render properly and you can't see the text because of dark mode. So that's why I don't use dark mode continuously. But we're going to add dark mode right in there. Now if you notice it's in the top section under include. So once we do that, we're going to swipe to our home screen we're going to swipe down and now you see we've got dark mode included. So if I tap on dark mode, now it's active. So what that means is we're going to go back into our settings and now we're still at this customized control center and we can see that dark mode is active as I have the black background instead of the white. This is Stoneman with your daily tech tip. I hope you find this enjoyable. If you like this, please subscribe for more daily tech tips. Thank you.